Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church in Waterford, Michigan. Each day, uh, Monday through Friday, we record these uh, uh, meditations, these devotions that are based on the message notes, which we provide on Sundays to accompany the message uh, and the scripture for that day. So this uh, one, uh, we spoke about uh, whether or not we're in, uh, a nation undivided was the title of the message with a question mark. Are we a nation undivided? And of course, uh, what we came up with or what I wanted to share with you is that we are dual citizens of both the kingdom of God and we are citizens of our own nations. Uh, I would imagine most of us who are hearing this devotion are uh, uh, members, uh, citizens of the United States. So I want to read the, the scripture for today. Devotion it comes from uh, John's Gospel, the eighth chapter, verses 31 through 36. Let me read this to you. Jesus is uh, having a conversation uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, some of his fellow Jewish people. Uh, then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you, if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you shall do uh, what you have heard from the Father. I went a little further than uh, 36, but I thought it's interesting. He says, I'm hearing you. I know that you are a descendant of Abraham. But do you know what true freedom means? And that's the question for today. When you hear the word freedom, what do you think of? Do you think of, of your own personal freedom? You, do you think about, uh, you know, using the word from yesterday's devotion, equal freedom for everyone, equal uh, liberties uh, for them to be able to uh, pursue what they want in life? Uh, what does it mean when you think about the word freedom? freedom? And does freedom in one context take precedence over freedom in the other? I mean, they were thinking about slavery. Hey, look, we are free people. We're descendants of Abraham. Uh, but, uh, uh, and of course, their people were enslaved in Egypt. So it's a, an inter interesting discuss discussion in terms of uh, uh, the Hebrew people and their, and their background. But it, it, it's an idea that they're thinking clearly about uh, slavery. And, and Jesus is saying, hold on, there's another freedom at work here, and that is the freedom from sinfulness, that which separates us from God. That's the definition I utilize most when I try to explain what sinfulness means. I mean, we, we, we really simplify it and say, oh, sin is just bad stuff we do. Well, yes, it is. Uh, but it, it, but the, the main um, meaning and purpose and definition of, of, of sinfulness is to understand that we separate ourselves from God, and that's what breaks God's heart. The actions certainly do, but, but it means that we are separating ourselves from God's will and God's way uh, for each and every one of us. So uh, in what ways do you seek freedom in your life? Do you seek freedom in the workplace, in your school? Do you seek it within your family context? Are you seeking freedom? Um, uh, from some habit that is holding you back from being all that you can be? Are you, are you trying to break free uh, from sinfulness, that which separates you from God and in turn separates you from others? Yeah. Freedom or liberty uh, has many meanings and many contexts. And I want you to think today about what is freedom to you and what does it mean for you to seek that freedom uh, in, in all areas of your life? The good news is that we can gain that freedom when we put our trust in Christ uh, and follow him uh, in faith. So praise God 
uh, because he gives us the freedom that is available through Christ Jesus. A freedom that we are to seek for not only for ourselves, but for all people. Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for the power to break free from that which separates us from you, from sin that holds us back from all that we can be, from that which holds us back from what you want for each and every one of us. Help us, Lord, to be faithful to your purposes. Uh, and we find that purpose as followers of Christ in knowing his teachings and his ways. It's a glimpse of who you are, God, and we are thankful for his life. And we're thankful for the power of the Holy Spirit that will be able to give us the opportunity for true freedom. In Christ's name we pray, and through the power of your Holy Spirit, amen. Have a blessed day, friends. Goodbye.